This week on Wildcat News, we learn more about how the library continues to operate during COVID-19. And we talk with students about how they continue to connect with others during the pandemic. All these stories and more coming up because Wildcat News starts now. Good morning, West Johnston. I'm Miranda Bean. In efforts to continue to get books into the hands of students, the library has created a new program called Books to Go. Allison Wade reports. Turning the page, the library is beginning a new chapter called Books to Go. Media coordinator Yvette Davis talks about the program. Books to Go is a virtual online way to check out physical books. So we have our library accounts. Every student has a uh, school library account and that account enables the students to go through, search the Destiny Discover catalog, find things that interest them. And when they do, they can place a hold on those books and then Ms. Holm and I can pull them and check them out to them. So it's a way of keeping students connected with reading and, uh, and finding things that interest them even when they can't be in the building. Senior Alana Carr shares why she believes people should use the program. If you can transport yourself to school to borrow these books, I say go for it, especially people who love reading hardcover books, you know, the paperback books. I love to have the book in my hand because like there's no like better feeling than when something happens in a book and you just got to close and you're like, mm, you know, it, it brings me more comfort. It's easier to escape versus on my phone. I'm getting notifications, like stuff are popping up and it gets so easily distracted. But if I have the book in my hand and my phone is like all the way across the room, I can fully immerse myself. Carr explains why having access to books during quarantine can be beneficial. Immersing yourself in a good book while you're just reading and the time passes is the best feeling. After spending so much time inside, you kind of want the time to pass a little faster. And I feel like a good book will, you're not just so down on yourself sitting around doing nothing. I love my phone, but even TikTok gets boring. And I feel like a book, just taking it up, sitting down, laying in bed, just like decomposing, play music if you like to read with music on, and just kind of chill. Davis talks about her hopes for the program. I would love to see more students use it. We've had some, and I was actually surprised by the number of students who had been using it. I think that it would be really great to find a way to continue some aspect of it in the future. To learn more about the Books to Go program, visit the school's main website. I'm Allison Wade, Wildcat News. Thanks, Allison. Throughout the pandemic, COVID-19 has impacted how people socialize and connect with others. Katherine Green reports. COVID-19, connecting with friends and socializing has become a struggle for some teens. Seniors Sophie Ertz and Anna Ray share what their senior year has been like despite changes made because of the coronavirus. Definitely not what I ever would imagine. I guess no one would ever think that they wouldn't ever get to graduate or go to a prom, but I guess that's what it's looking like. It's been hard, but it's a part of life, really challenging things that you have to get through. It's been a roller coaster to say due to the fact that we've had small things posted by parents, like the senior sunrise as well as other winter galas and stuff like that. But we did, we still do not have a lot of activities that are past alumni seniors event. Ertz describes things she has done to connect with friends throughout the pandemic. I've been to the park a lot, actually, like towards the beginning of COVID and quarantine and everything, like April and May. All we did was go to the park and I've never been to the park more in my life than that time. Ray shares what she feels are some positive outcomes that have resulted from social distancing. It's given us a chance to step back because I feel like in high school we're all like just really into everybody else's business or we're just stressed out about schoolwork or we weren't given days or mental health days. So I think I really having that ability to step back, step even though we are staring so at screens a lot, the classes I'm firmly age. So that's just how it has been for me. I'm Katherine Green, Wildcat News. Thanks, Katherine. Well, that's all for us this week. If you have any comments, questions, or story leads, email us at wjstudentmedia at gmail.com or send us a tweet at wjstudentmedia. And if you want to watch Wildcat News at home, on the go, or catch up on past episodes, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Miranda Bean. Thanks for watching and have a great week.